Uh oh. Alarm urgent service. Oh no, come on. You know, guys, I'm not really feeling these new motorcycles all that much these days, man. You know, I'm really digging the old motorcycles. Now, I see why a lot of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser, man. Quit messing with these new motorcycles. You need to get you some of the old motorcycles. I'm going to tell you one thing that's really cool about this bike, which is a 2019 YZ450 FX that I made into a street legal supermoto. I did a full build series on it. Go check it out. Uh, but this is straight up raw motorcycle. This doesn't have all the newfound technology crap, except, uh, you know, it does have fuel injection, electric starter, of course. And it does have the module in here where you can actually tune the engine with your phone. But that's it. It doesn't have ride-by-wire throttle, uh, electronic rider rays, and all that other BS. But I'm going to tell you in this video, guys, why I like old motorcycles and why my next motorcycle will probably be an old motorcycle and which bike I'll get. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Pure raw motorcycle, guys. Look at the torque, baby. Now that rips. <laughs> yeah, baby. And I don't need to do triple digit speeds on here. <laughs> Bike rips. Just rips. But I'm going to tell you guys, whatever motorcycle you're riding out here, make sure you're wearing the gear. And I tell you, I have some awesome gear. If you want to get my gear like this, my favorite helmet, my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield, my Motovlog camera, airbag vest to help keep me safe, gauntlet gloves, all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of this video. Well, that feels good when you can just rip and ring the heck out of that throttle and I'm not doing 150 miles an hour where I can lose my license, but yet I'm still having a good time because all that torque is giving me that rush that I need. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you with these new motorcycles, you know, they got a lot of horsepower. They got a lot of torque. Um, you know, they got all these rider aids. They got the ride-by-wire throttle. You know, even on the Husky... 701 supermoto and the ktm 690 smcr supermoto which i was i was gonna get mind you i think that even has a ride-by-wire throttle on it which dude i am not a fan of ride-by-wire throttles electronic throttles or whatever you want to call them i like good old wire good old cable throttle that's what i like guys that's why i love this one of the many reasons why i love this supermoto my yz here straight up raw direct connection to the engine okay i don't like this computer technology with the throttle where it you know computerizes how much you turn your throttle it's not connected directly to the engine it's it's computerized I don't like that because I will tell you on the bikes that I've had that had the ride-by-wire throttle it's like an on-off feeling that you get you don't have the direct connection feeling and feeling is everything to me on a motorcycle it may not be to you but it is to me and with with that Yamaha MTL 9 even though it did improve when I, you know, tuned it with that dyno, custom dyno tuner, which flashed the ECU, which by the way, if you want to get one to flash your bike, I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. Amazing, amazing item. Uh, but the throttle was still never felt natural to me. I didn't like it. The throttle's like on and off though. Like I said, that's got to be corrected, man. That's just weird. The uh, 2017 Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory that I own. Same thing. It had this, I mean, uh, and mind you, that one was better than the MTL 9, the, the ride-by-wire throttle on that. But it still was not the same as a direct connection throttle. And I know, you know, in order to get the electronic rider aids, you know, traction control and all that other stuff, 
I get my my understanding is you have to have a ride by wire throttle in order to have you know the power modes and all the electronic rider aids. But I get I cut when I on all those new motorcycles that I've had. I before I started off, I cut all the rider aids off. You know, I don't like the rider aids because they're kind of intrusive. Honestly, I like using my good old throttle hand here to uh this is my rider aid right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need no electronic rider aids now for the track. Yes, that's awesome. But out here on the streets, you don't really need it, man. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of ABS and fuel injection. Those technology advances, okay, which have been around for forever. So don't get me there. Don't be like Cycle Cruiser. Come on, your bike's fuel injected. And uh, come on, that's got new technology on it. Come on, that's not new technology. That's old, man. <laughs> but I do like fuel injection. I really do. Oh, feels good, baby. Feels real good out here. But it's just something about the cable throttle. I just... Feels good, man. Feels natural. It's like it's supposed to be. Doesn't feel artificial. And don't get me wrong, man. I think the Ducati XDFLs ride by wire throttle, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was close to being natural as a ride by wire can be okay but it still was not it still was not the same as a straight up cable throttle and uh and also they're jacking the prices up on these new bikes too man <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're getting every, every year they get more and more expensive. I mean, you used to be able to get a a brand new uh, bike, a nice liter bike or whatever, you know, top of the line bike for like 10, 10, 11,000 max. Actually, even further back, you used to get one for like eight, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. Now these suckers are approaching twenty thousand dollars plus. It's crazy, man. And for technology that I don't even really use. I tell you guys, that's why it's hard for me to select another bike. Because I really just don't want to mess with any of the new bikes anymore. I've, I've been there, done that. Um, this is the most fun motorcycle I've ever owned. Just burn it up on these back roads. <laughs> and you're not doing crazy speeds, like I said. Feels good, baby. Feels good out here. Tell me guys, what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about it? And as far as my next motorcycle, you know, I'm still, I, I would like to go with an older motorcycle, to be honest with you, um, but I don't know what I want. Um, really, I can't, I thought about getting the, um, I don't know, maybe picking up an older V-Rod and seeing how that is. I've always thought those are cool. I think that's Harley Davidson's best motorcycle. <laughs> and I know some of you Harley Davidson lovers out there hate me saying that uh, because you don't respect the, the V-Rod because it wasn't truly made by Harley Davidson. Uh, it was inspired by Porsche or helped built by Porsche, the engine or whatnot. this bike baby <laughs> what a hoop I want to hear your feedback on this and what older bike should I get for my street other bike that I would get really I just need to cruise on it you know what I'm saying because I'm not about you know the highway bandito life on the you know doing triple digit speeds on the highway you know I'm not about racing anybody I'm just about just just ripping up having fun out here on my, my supermoto busting a wheelie ripping it here and there or just cruising so really my next bike just needs to have a lot of torque and uh and just chill cruise on you know what i'm saying because i'm not going to be busting wheelies and stuff on it and so this that's what i do on this bike a beat up on because this bike can take the beating you know what i'm saying man you know what i'm saying and i ain't even playing but anyways don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and also check out my other channel bug out moto deuces Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.